Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we're building a giraffe enclosure and house. If you want to watch me build these live and give some commentary and some tips and some feedback, then you can always come check me out on Twitch. I will put a schedule live soon. I just need to figure out what the schedule is going to be. If you don't want to do that, you can leave a comment in this video to tell me, but that means it won't instantly be taken into account, but rather probably for the next time I then play the game. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please leave a like and a comment. If you dislike it, then you know, leave a dislike. So I did think back here, since we we made it look like this goes into a jungle area, we should probably think about doing something there. This water looks a bit dirty. Have we not got a... Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter all that much to the animals we've got in there, just simply because they don't swim. Uh, but they might try drink out of it, which we definitely want to fix. The animals are stressed again. I don't know what to do about the limit. I mean, there's just so many people in their enclosure. That's probably the problem. But I don't think I can limit the amount of people. But they do need some some play, some place where they can be, you know, relaxing. Okay. And this way, at least they've got this entire area to hide from people. And... Especially when they want to sleep. Oh, look at the little baby one. So cute. Day earlier. If we want to make a reptile house, I feel like we could just expand this building because I still I left it open in the back, and then you know make part of it the reptile house. As long as we negative impact, I guess, as we keep it only up to outside of that red area, that would work quite well. But I think we should do then uh, is keep going with the savanna theme in this this direction. So, so along here, and then move on to a, a jungle theme over here. I think that might work out quite nicely. I mean, this is a sort of, you know, mish, mishmash of things. I mean, okay, this is savanna and this is desert, which is close enough. This is jungle, however, but it's, it's, a, it's kind of a separate bit because it's like the walking enclosures together. I think that's okay for us to, to have that little bit of a mix. Giraffe, yeah, we can we can do giraffes. Uh, that would be for the grassland area, so we could do them over here. We we'll probably want quite a big area for them, of like a giraffe house. Ooh, what we could do, I don't know if I can describe it well, but if we do like a, let's use the terrain for it. If we do a big circular enclosure like. Okay, that did not really do anything for us there. So, if we do a big circle, and then put a bridge over, uh, so that's lowered as well, just like the lines one, and then a bridge over it, and in the middle we have a giraffe house, where there's an indoor area for them that people can walk around as well and maybe look into. That might be quite cool. And we'll find something else small for, for the bit that we've missed. I mean, the, this idea I'm basically basing off uh, a zoo in Rotterdam, the Rotterdam Blydorp Zoo. Uh, they have like a big giraffe thing uh, with a giraffe house where you can sort of walk through and look into.
Galapagos tortoises. Are you too, too full now, I assume? No, you're also stressed. Mm. Okay. They're not enough space, I assume, for all of them in the cave, and that's why they're also stressed now. How can we fix that? I don't know if this will look nice, but what we can definitely do... I mean, this is for the animals, right? Increase the height of this to above... Above the guess. Come on. Then turn it into one-way glass. It'll look a bit strange. But it will allow us to have no changes to the enclosure. And still have um, the tortoises feel safe. Yeah, look. Now they shouldn't get stressed at all because they have no idea about being watched. animal discovered. Oh, the vet's being caught. Is it? Um, that is a... Uh, wow. Magic. We have magic vets. just all animals reset filters no, wait. Do. all animals can we just give every single animal some contraceptives which you know means we we're not gonna have more and more animals pop up which is great and well if you know our animals die because they get too old, we will just get new ones. We're not, we're not helping with the conservation effort, I guess, but fine. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do for the stairs railings there. I might just turn the path railings back on.
So since we read up, it's 2 to 14 uh, size of groups of giraffes. Let's put all four that we currently have in this bit. Let's put four in this side first, and then once we figure, fix the other side, we'll put the other two, we might, might move the other two over. Um, it's just so that they don't uh, live in the in the trade center until we fix it. How about that? They can climb up this bit here. So let's fix that. Fix that. I think that should fix it. Yeah. Okay, so now this this animal is not even in my zoo area anymore. Emergency capture it. Can my keepers even get it from there? The red panda, which one which one are you? This is Mei Feng, the mother. Young Sei, the child. Where's the father? Father Red Panda. Oh my god, there's so many. Yes, here's Ruddy. Ooh, he's in his... He's quite elderly already. But here he is. Good old Ruddy. Oh, they're not happy because there's too many adults. We might actually have to release Ruddy into the wild. He's got two children. His parents are unknown. Let's have a look at our animals. Yeah, we have a lot of red pandas. We might have to release him into the wild for his, the rest of his life. Just because he's, he's the oldest. And he will... No, enjoy... Let him enjoy being in the wild for, for the rest of his life. We can uh, name one of his children, Ruddy. What about the children? Let them die in the wild. <laughs> I mean... And sorry, Ruddy's gonna live in the wild. Monte Jurassic has got a disease, so our vets should be on the way to fix that. Do, however, do need to end up fixing this this bit. The giraffe. I'm not. I'm not happy with the giraffe enclosure yet. And obviously, we need the second half as well. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, since the giraffe enclosure is not quite finished, I didn't leave like a whole part of me looking at it in. In the next video, there will be uh, a little tour through the zoo we've already got. So check that out once it comes out. If you want, once again, if you want to see this live, come check me out on Twitch. I do not stream to YouTube anymore because uh, the Twitch affiliate thing does not allow you to stream to multiple platforms at the same time. But I can still make the videos on YouTube. So if the videos are what you want, then that's fine too. They'll still be just here. Thank you for watching.